temporarily confiscated until the end of the tour because I'm the only person allowed to be armed on the DMZ. And then uh, lastly, I do have to ask, but it is something you can laugh at. Does anyone here plan on defecting to North Korea today? No? Okay, good. So like I said, if you need to use the restroom at all, um, before, during, or after the brief, please do so now because once we get on the bus to go up north, uh, you will not have an opportunity until we return here. Um, when we do return here, you should have some time to go upstairs. You'll see the stairs right up those doors to the right. Uh, that'll take you up to the second floor. There's like a museum up there going over some of the, the history of the JSA and of um, the, Pond, the Panama John and the Paju Valley. So if you wish to go up there as well. Um, we used to have a gift shop here, but we no longer do. Its contract expired at the end of last year. Uh, there is a coffee shop under construction, but I don't believe that it will be completed um, within the next month or two. The UNC Security Battalion was first established in the spring of 1952, originally consisting of five officers and ten enlisted men. However, we reached our peak strength at the end of the Korean War with over 1,900 personnel assigned. To place your tour in a better context, I'll briefly review the political history of the Korean Peninsula. So prior to World War II, the Japanese had colonized the Korean Peninsula. However, in the final days of World War II, the Japanese handed over everything south of the 38th parallel to the United States, and they handed off everything north of the 38th parallel to the United States. Uh, uh, JC Com Company Commander uh, Captain Arthur Boniface, you can see his helmet here, was axed to death in front of his vehicle. And here you can see a KPA soldier clearly wielding an axe, who was later identified to be 1st Platoon Leader, 1st Lieutenant Mark Bear. Due to this unprovoked act of violence, the decision was made through a special series of meetings that the MDL itself would separate the two guard forces inside of the Joint Security Area. So the four guard posts that you saw here, um, occupied by the KPA, were relieved and sent back to the north. Under these new provisions, there were no new acts of violence until uh, November 23, 1984, when a Soviet citizen on a North Korean sponsored tour dashed across the MDL in an attempt to reach the free world. He was quickly followed by over 30 KPA guards who primarily occupy this main body here in the Sunken Garden. Ladies and gentlemen, we're truly in front of them all. Thank you. So this will be your last uh, chance to use the restroom before we hop on the bus outside. Uh, it, should, it should be bus number one. There will be a sign in the uh, windshield. So if you just want to get out there after you're done with the restroom.